bringing new design and improved interior quality. New Volkswagen T-Cross SUV 2024 The T-Cross is visually and technologically enhanced to stay competitive in the crowded BSUV segment. For years after its debut, Volkswagen completed the facelift T-Cross by injecting new styling cues and an overhauled interior into the smallest member of the SUV lineup. In the official press shoot, Volkswagen only showed off the sportier R-Line trim, but we've already seen uncamouflaged prototypes of the T-Cross, so we're also familiar with the styling changes on the smaller models. At the front, the wider grille features a full-width LED bar that replaces the old chrome strip and connects the headlights with IQ, light LED matrix technology. The redesigned bumper gets more modern triangular-shaped side openings and a less complex layout for the lower air intake. The body-colored bumper inserts in the model pictured are unique to the R-Line, as the lower spec trims get more plastic trim and an aluminum style trim that looks like a skid plate around the entrance. The profile remains largely unchanged apart from new 16 inch and 17 inch alloy wheels and a new color trio grape yellow, metallic clear blue, and metallic king's red that expands the color palette. At the rear, the stylish X shaped LED graphics on the taillights and the full width LED bar in the middle stand out. The lower part of the rear bumper has also been revised in the R-Line with a wide false intake and no visible tailpipes. Moving inwards, the changes are more noticeable, as the entire dashboard has been redesigned. The hard, scratchy, and cheap-looking plastics, which were undoubtedly the weakest point of the old model, have been replaced by softer and significantly better quality materials than Volkswagen. The technology aspect has been upgraded accordingly with a new digital cockpit. More specifically, the digital instrument cluster now comes standard, but its size ranges from 8 inches to 10 inches depending on trim level. The infotainment touchscreen is positioned higher, measuring 8 inches or 9.2 inches while benefiting from updated software. Climate controls have also been revised with touch sliders on the optional AirCare Climatronic instead of rotary dials. Finally, the small SUV is now available with optional travel assist ADAS. Volkswagen is proud of the T-Cross's practicality features, including a sliding rear bench, flexible luggage compartment ranging from 385 to 455 liters, 13.6 to 16.1 cubic feet, and drawbar load increased from 55 kilograms, 121 pounds. Here's up to 75 kilograms, 165 pounds, so you can carry more bikes in one carrier. The Volkswagen T-Cross is the high-riding brother of the Polo Super Mini with the same MQB A0 architecture. The powertrain lineup carries over from the pre-facelift model meaning the T-Cross doesn't have any electrified options unlike most of its competitors. The turbocharged 1.0 TSI three-cylinder petrol engine is available with 94 horsepower, 70 kilowatts 95 PS, or 113 horsepower, 85 kilowatts 115 PS, while the more powerful turbocharged 1.5 TSI four-cylinder engine produces 148 horsepower. 110 kilowatts slash 150 PS. Power is transmitted to the front axle via a 5-speed manual, 6-speed manual or 7-speed DSG automatic, which comes standard on the most powerful variant. The updated Volkswagen T-Cross is scheduled to launch in the first quarter of 2024, with pre-sales starting in the fourth quarter of 2023. The small SUV is also offered in markets outside of Europe with the 1.2 under the names Taqua and Taigun. Competitors in Europe's BSUV segment include the recently facelift Peugeot 2008, the soon-to-be-faced Renault Captur and Ford Puma, as well as the mechanically related Skoda Kamek and Citarona.